Chicken and pickles and beer Just about that time of year Iced tea from a thermos It's becoming increasingly clear That summertime, summertime Summertime is here Tonight's the night I mean all night Oh yes, it's party time here i want to talk about pot and i want to fucking complain how many times have you smelled garbage around here that stinks like cough syrup smells like armpit douche smells like uh ex stripper behind the right knee which i have uh, personal experience with okay smells like lava lamp the only thing missing in some of the pot shops are the uh, day glow posters of sex positions astrologically depicted okay incense and all of this kind of thing I hate it. Every time I go and I buy something, I got to throw away half of it because it's been adulterated with blueberry, uh, toe cheese, uh, aluminum, alkali, something or other. Are you familiar with what I'm talking about? I, I am familiar with all those different smells, yes. Okay, and you have it in tobacco now, but tobacco is codified. It's off on the side, and everybody knows tobacco is going to kill you, probably sooner than later. So if they added blueberry syrup to it, and it tastes like blueberry, and I did try the blueberry syrup-flavored tobacco, it's fucking great. And I understand why you can never let that around kids. It's instantly great. I can, it tastes like Jolly Ranchers or some shit. If I didn't smoke, I would start smoking because of it. And that's why you can't have it around anybody like me who's even mildly addictive. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Moderation in everything, especially moderation. I'll have another pack of those blueberry-flavored what-the-fucks, okay? Same thing's happening with pot. And you cannot tell me that that shit is safe. You can't tell me that anytime somebody puts food flavoring on it, that's cool. Yeah, it's cool to eat, but once you torch it, boom, you get what's called a recombinant chemical. It creates a third chemical. Guy, girl, baby. Guy, girl, but it's not fucking new. This is a million years old, this idea. They call themselves breeders, the bud tenders. Great. What happens when a guy and a girl breeds? Boom! You get the shit you keep selling me. This tastes like an Alka-Seltzer lifesaver, a gummy bear, all right? It tastes like incense tochis. Seriously. And you can't tell me that's medical. When you have a name like La Watusi Laughing Tochis uh, Gummy Bear Reefer, no, that's not medicine. That's recreational. And I'll see you at the beginning of the weekend on Wednesday. I'm fine with that. I'll bring the music. But in terms of getting my back pain, I see fellas like Rogan arguing with Ted Nugent about which one has expanding perspectives and the other one is ascending and working a self-improvement thing. And I love them both. Really, I do. But I don't want to expand anything. I'm not interested in the flora and fauna. All I want to do is kill some fucking back pain. And I don't want to have to wander through uh, elbow reefer, Watusi dread, elbow armpit laughing, triff cookies or some shit because that's not even dependable. Remember, I'm measuring meds against arguably the most dependable man-made substance ever in the history, McDonald's french fries. Done correctly, they are awesomely and eerily similar around the world. Is that a miracle? Is it mystical? Is it my perspective expanding? No, some motherfucker followed the instructions or he got his ass fired in 82 languages. And that's kind of what needs to happen at the dispensaries or the shops or the whatever. Now, if it's a shop, I'm going to say, great. Play my favorite kind of music. 
You can do this while you're selling it to me, and you can have a nose bolt and a dick ring or a tongue ring, <laughs> and it's great. I'm fine with that. A neo-primitive tattoo, put Post Malone on the stereo next, park a lowrider outside. I will come see you on the beginning of the weekend, Tuesday or Wednesday. But I got shit to do, okay? Working for the man every night. Now I'm the man. And the man's got to get up and get some shit done. So going in and trying to forage through, okay, well, what does this one do? And this one's in, and then I come back next week and it's changed. That's not meds. You can't defend that shit on television. And I'm on television now trying to defend that shit. What's the absolute worst thing about an airport? Going through the security and not because they're checking for security. Okay, that's a little kinky. I started enjoying that. But... Having to walk in your socks. You got to take your shoes off and you walk around in your socks, right? And it's horrible. It's filthy. Think of all the DNA. New York City, I think they said 9,000 people are going to walk through that one terminal gate in one 24-hour period. 9,000, 18,000 feet. I don't even want to count the toes. I don't want to count the spaces in between the toes. I don't want to count what's underneath the, uh, the nails on the toes, right? And your mind is reeling with that stuff, okay? You want nothing to do with it. And somebody, somebody's going to be a genius and think of those white paper booties that we used to wear in surgery or that the fellas wear when they're painting walls in a nice apartment, okay? And have those so you can pull them out, sell them to the guy at the airport, you know, just pull them out like a paper towel, put that on, and at least when you wander through that sea of DNA, that sea of whatever it is that's on your hands, it's still on your feet, right? Let's let's count it up. Bacteria, viral info data, multiply resistant staphylococca, blah, 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 and that same shit is on every jar that's handed to us at the pot shop. Yeah, you hand them the jar, okay, and if you say it's recreational, then it's like at a tobacco store. And you already know the tobacco's going to kill you. Just a matter of time. Okay, so what's a few million uh, bacteria from other people handling the jar? What's a few million viral staphylococci, something or other in Latin? Because it's tobacco, and we already know it's bad for us. And in a funny, fucking, kind of kinky, not so funny, fucking, kind of kinky way, that's part of the attraction, like motorcycles, okay? Or taking horses over very high jumps, or rock climbing, or rock climbing without a rope or rock I got a long list okay that being the case every time somebody hands you a jar of pot and says here this is purple indica laughing Buddha and they hand it to you okay you are handling where everybody else handled that jar your average dispensary has what 300 people and the good stuff everybody turns and goes I'll touch the something or other let me try the Buddha because the Buddha has a given fragrance or an aroma to it. But we don't say it's like a tobacco store. We say pot safe. We say pot has a future. We say pot is medication. I say it is. And it's really tough to talk about federal mandates being moved and states who are really, really against this because their big thing is that's recreational. That's nothing but a whole nother recreational thing like whiskey, and we've had a whole truckload of difficulties in count of whiskey given us centuries historically here, okay? So why would we need another? And that's when they quote the end of a Dragnet episode. Little old lady says, well, why wouldn't we do this? And, you know, the guy goes, do we really need another And you hear people quoting this. They don't even know that that's the last sentence of a Dragnet episode. Truth is, we don't need another. I think we need a substitute. I do. I don't want to drink. Jack Daniels owes me a fur coat and about 55 more x-rays, according to Dr. Duffy. (laughs) And Pfizer and everybody else, you're going to catch up with me soon enough, okay? I already know this shit. I have a laugh-to-win attitude about it. But I think I can fight them off and I can buy some time. You're not going to knock anybody out in a bar fight, but if you catch them just right... But you bought some time. I can get away. Nike Jiu-Jitsu. Put my shoes on and beat tiles, baby. Out. Beat the street. Doom. Like so. And that, maybe pot can help me with that. Well, what about edibles? 
Everything is named after my favorite dessert or something like an ice cream cone, and it doesn't really have even a remotely medical whatever to it. I know that anything I smoke cannot possibly be 100% safe. Just can't. It's going to leave behind some tar. It's going to leave behind some residue. The paper is going to leave something behind. I know that. Recreationally, I'm fine with it. Personally, I'm fine with it. I gave up my right to complain about much of this stuff 75,000 Winston cigarettes ago. Full disclosure, okay? But I'm complaining on behalf of the people who are behind me, who have never taken up smoke and who have higher expectations, perhaps, uh, on behalf of themselves and their kids and grandkids than I about myself. That's a self-esteem thing I'll work out on a Dr. Drew episode later. Fuck it, I won't. I'm just... <laughs> I want to complain because every time somebody hands me that jar, I'm thinking about the 300 people who never picked their nose right before the jar, who never rubbed their eye right before they had the jar, who never... I got to scratch my ear. You're nervous I will on camera because it'll be how embarrassing. I'm going to... All right. Let me just lick my finger and... Could... See how you feel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like somebody mentioned you see all the kids inner city in a public swimming pool, which is where I learned to swim. And I was one of those blue lip kids who went in the water at nine in the morning and didn't come out until roughly three or four in the afternoon when it was time to go home. And mom would do this. And you would come out of that water for the first time. And everybody would comment about how well kept all of the public swimming pools and the facilities were, especially the restrooms. It was, if, it was as if nobody ever used them. <laughs> Same thing for those pot jars, okay? We're going to pretend nobody did anything as walking in and go, damn, that taco place up the street. You got the Buddha? Oh, fuck, that looks new. The Roth Show.